Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a routine um, for your Amazon Echo device in the Alexa app here. So a, what a routine will do for you is a, you will set it up to just say one word to your Echo device or a phrase, one phrase to your Echo device, and it'll run through a list of different things that you've told it to do within that routine. So this is a nice way um, to do tasks that you typically do every day without having to give multiple commands to your Echo device. You just give one and it'll run through the list of things you've set up in that routine. There's a lot, there's a lot you can do with routines um, for your Echo devices, but we're just going to do a simple one of turning on and off the downstairs lights. So downstairs I have smart bulbs in my kitchen and my family room. So what I want my Echo device to do is turn those lights on when I say turn on the downstairs lights and turn them off when I tell it to turn off the downstairs lights. So instead of me having to tell my device to turn on the family room lights and then give it a second command to turn on the kitchen lights, I'll just have to give it one command and it'll turn on both sets of lights. So we're gonna go ahead in the app here and go to more and then select routines. And once you're in here, you can create your own routine, which is what we're gonna do in a minute. Um, and if you see a list of ones here, you can just tap the plus button up there and that'll start the routine. But let's look at the featured section first. Here is a bunch of preset ones um, that you can go ahead and enable and edit um, to your own liking. So if you look at the good morning routine, when you say um, to your device, good morning, it's gonna run through, whoops, let me go back here. When you say good morning, it's gonna run through the actions down here in the order that they're in and you can rearrange them. So the first thing it's gonna do is tell you something new, then it's gonna play news from your flash briefing and then it's gonna open this day in history. But you can tap the add button and go ahead and do a bunch of different things here, has a bunch of different integration, right? So that's what you can go ahead and do. And then um, once you're done editing all of this, you can click enable. And there we go, now it's enabled. And if I jump all the way back out to this page, I can go to your routines and you can see that good morning routine is now there. But now to go back to the original thing I wanted to do to adjust my downstairs lights with one command. We can go ahead and do that by creating um, basically our own routine so we don't have to use a preset one if we don't want to. We're gonna go ahead and tap the plus button in the top right hand corner. We're gonna enter a name for our routine. I'm just gonna call it downstairs lights on. And then when this happens is the next section here. And this is basically what we say to Alexa or how we want this routine to be triggered. So we can either do it by voice, um, which is what we're gonna do in a second, or we can do it by a bunch of different things here that you can kind of go ahead and explore. You can do it by a schedule if you want to at a specific time, you know, do you want to repeat every day or only certain days? Um, so if it's something you just want to run at 8.30 in the morning every day, you can go ahead and do that. That way you don't have to speak um, to your Echo device to get the routine to run. It'll just run based off of a schedule. So that's kind of one example. And you can do that with location and alarms and a few other things like that. But we're gonna do voice. So when I tell my Echo device to turn on the downstairs lights. So turn on the downstairs lights. I'm gonna select next. So when I say that to my device, I want it to do what? That's the add action part here. So you can see there's a bunch of different options. You can have Alexa says something back to you. There's a bunch of different services and products and stuff that you can go ahead and use here, or you can even do a custom phrase 
or a custom thing. So if you, if your action that you wanted to do doesn't fit into any of these, but you know what you would normally say to Alexa, um, you can go ahead and select custom here and you basically just type in what you would normally say to Alexa to get that one part of the routine to run. Um, but we want to do lights, which is actually going to be located um, under the smart home part here. So right here, if we just select that, we want it to um, control lights, control groups, control scenes. Um, we have a couple different options here with the hue lights. Um, but if I can do control groups, you can see I get the family room group, which I'm going to go ahead and set first. And I can select power and I want it to turn the family room group of lights on. So that's one way to do it. I'm going to show you another way. Um, if we just choose the lights, I can go ahead and select each individual smart bulb here <clears throat> if I want to. Um, so we can go ahead and do that too if you want to. Um, but again, I'm going to do it by groups. I'll select family room, I'll select power, I want it to turn on. You can also have it adjust the brightness and set a color if we want to. I'm just going to make sure the brightness is at 100% when this routine runs every time. Um, and I'm not going to set a color. They'll just be the color they were when they were last turned on. So I'll select next. So there we go. It's going to turn on the family room lights to 100%. Now I want to do the kitchen lights, right? So it does both of them at the same time. I'll select add. I'll scroll down again to smart home. Again, I'll do groups because I already have groups set up. I'll select kitchen and a power on and do brightness again to 100%. Just like the family room, I'll click next. And there we go. Now we have our two actions that are going to run um, when I say turn on the downstairs lights. I'm going to select save. And there we go. It's all set up and ready to go. And you can see it's here in our routines. So that's to turn them on. Now I have to create another routine um, for them to turn off at the same time. And I'm basically going to go through the same steps here. I'll go through it a little quicker, um, but this is basically going to be the same and not much is going to change. We're just going to make sure we set everything to power off instead of power on. So turn off the downstairs lights. Next. And then again, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go all the way to smart home, choose a group. We'll do the family room first and I want them to power off. Click next. Now I'm going to go ahead and select add action again. And I'm going to go down to smart home groups, this time the kitchen and turn them off, select next. And there we go. We have our two actions. Click save. There we go. Now you can see I have those two routines on. So when I say these um, routine triggers, I guess you could call them, to my Echo device, it's gonna go ahead and either turn on the, um, those two uh, rooms or groups of lights and turn off those two groups of lights, um, depending on how you set it up. So that's kinda the basics of routines. Again, there's a bunch of other stuff that you saw in here and you can go and mess with any of it. Um, and try to test it out and see what you like and see what you'll use. Um, you know, if you have a smart coffee maker and you want it to turn on at a certain time and it works with Alexa, you can go ahead and schedule a routine and that way you don't have to say the, you know, anything to your device. It'll just start running at 8 a.m. or whatever time. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do in here, so I suggest you go check it out and play around with it and see what's going to be helpful to you. But hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, um, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.